Welcome to the next video in our series explaining how to build your own quadcopter drone. Today, we will program a flight controller that enables you to control the vertical velocity of your drone. Let's get to it. In the first video of this series, I explained the general overview with all important components of our quadcopter. We already developed two flight controllers in parts 13 and 16 with the latest being the most complex because it enabled you to control the angle of your drone. In the previous parts, we saw how you could measure the altitude and vertical velocity of your drone and combined the two measurements to make them more accurate using a two-dimensional Kalman filter. Now we will have a look at what we want to achieve with vertical velocity control. When you increase a stick, the altitude of the drone increases as well until you lower the stick back to its center position, causing the drone to hold its altitude. Lowering the stick causes the drone altitude to decrease until you reposition it at its center position. This means that you are able to hover the drone at the same altitude when the throttle stick is in its center position at 0 cm per second. The velocity control is thus similar to the cruise control in your car. You set the speed once and the motor of your car will adjust its power in order to keep going at the required speed. The control loop that you will implement is similar to what we have seen before. Set the desired vertical velocity and compare it to the measured one. The error between both is given to the velocity controller, which transforms it to a motor throttle command. The motors cause a change in the altitude and vertical velocity of your drone which is measured by the BMP280 barometer and the MPU6050 accelerometer. Combining this in our two-dimensional Kalman filter gives an accurate value for the vertical velocity, which is fed back into the loop. To implement this control loop, we still need to develop two blocks, the desired vertical velocity and the velocity controller. Let's start with the desired vertical velocity. To decide how the vertical velocity input values correspond with the receiver commands, remember that we want to use the throttle in channel 3 for velocity control. The center position of the throttle stick should correspond to a velocity of 0 cm per second. A good balance for the controls is when the maximal and minimal receiver values correspond with a vertical velocity of respectively plus and minus 150 centimeters per second. These conditions correspond with the equation displayed on the screen. Now that we know the desired vertical velocity, let's proceed with the velocity controller. The equations for the PID controller for the rate flight controller developed in part 12 are reusable here as well. The only adaptations that we need to make obviously consist of changing the rate to the vertical velocity and the PID values to the values that are optimized for the vertical velocity control. We will see how you can calculate these PID values mathematically in one of our next videos. To implement this controller, we do not need to physically adapt anything on our drone because we already integrated the BMP280 in our electronic schematic. Moreover, in part 10b, we already put the BMP280 barometric sensor on our upper quadcopter frame. This means we can start programming our velocity mode flight controller in Arduino. Because this flight controller consists of more than 300 Arduino code lines, and the vast majority of these lines were already explained in part 16 and 19, we will focus here only on the new code lines. As usual, the full code is available for free on GitHub. To implement this new controller, you need similar PID variables as for the previous controller. Set the P, I and D values for your velocity controller as defined earlier. You will also need to add a line to the PID reset function to make sure the error and the integral values for the velocity controller are set to zero as well after, for example, landing the quadcopter. In the loop part of the code, use the equations developed earlier to calculate the desired velocity from the throttle stick input values, calculate the error between the desired and the real vertical velocity, and start the PID equation, making use of the already existing function with adapted input parameters. 
because the zero velocity point and thus the hover point will be around the center position of the throttle stick, you need to add 1500 microseconds to the PID output values. Save the error and the I term of the current iteration such that both values can be used in the calculations for the next iteration. And that's it for the Arduino code. To upload the code, connect the TNC with your computer. When the code is uploaded, the red LED should illuminate first. From this point, do not move the quadcopter to avoid interfering with the gyro calibration. When the calibration is finished, the green LED will be illuminated. You can now start the motors by moving the throttle stick softly up and down. After the beeps of the ESC, hold the quadcopter firmly with one hand and increase the throttle to test the flight controller. For your first flight, make sure you start outside at a large grass field without any people nearby to minimize the possibility of damage. While the goal of this flight controller is to have some form of vertical velocity control, you will notice that the performance of this controller is not always good and that you will need to adjust the velocity often during flight by manipulating the throttle stick, especially outdoors. The origin of this performance lies of course with the barometric sensor and accelerometer, in addition to wind gusts from the environment, but also from the motors. To further improve performance and implement a real position hold flight controller, you will need to add a GPS module as well. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the series. And remember that you can find all tutorials on YouTube and the full code on GitHub. The manual which contains all explications is available as well on GitHub if you need some more information. Thanks for watching and see you next time.